Hey everybody, welcome to another 2x4 tent update. We do have the web grow system in here. As you see, I have added my PVC back around the inside of the tent. And that is purely to keep the tent from sucking in on the plants too much. Um, as you can see, we've already got plants on the outside of the um, bars. So she's going to be pretty full in here. And this is all Roswell from North Genetics, which is super fireweed. Cannot wait to see what we end up with in this tent. And got the Spider Farmer SF2000 here. This light does push uh, 198 watts. And yeah, pretty good light. Had really good uh, success with it so far. And I'm sure that we'll have success again this run. And I mentioned in the last video we were having a little bit of a magnesium deficiency. We totally took care of that. I was like, because I had dialed it all back to almost nothing. And I just given them uh, two milliliters per gallon of the cow mag and I think one milliliter per gallon of the sweet raw. And. It has greened them right back up. As you can see, the stems are nice and healthy. And we've had quite a bit of growth in the last few days. Looks like this plant is growing a little bit faster than this one for some reason. But it's going to be lots of buds in here for sure. Once we get the next row of netting on, the metal net here, probably we'll put that on about the same height as this bar here, I'm thinking. Probably will work out pretty good. I haven't measured from the trellis, you know, the top of here to the light. It's so roughly 18 inches. And I still have plenty of room to go up with the light, so that is really not a concern. And this is why I wanted to get these plants into flower right when I did. I knew that they would have no problem filling this tent right to the brim. And as you can see, they have done that. And these are in five gallon pots with pure cocoa. And we are running the Lotus Nutrients, Lotus Nutrients, um, Lotus Nutrients. As you can see, I got the big jar of the grow. And the stuff seems to be working pretty good. Um, in the first week of flower, you don't use any of the bloom. Oh, you don't use any boost. You only use a little bit of boom, bloom, whatnot. But if you guys can check out the feed chart, I recommend if you think you want to run these nutrients, go ahead and get yourself a sample pack. And, uh, you know, you just use it on like one or two plants. And I did kind of screw up a little bit and started feeding all of my veg with it when I got it which is fine other than the fact that when we used up the nutrients pretty quickly and uh, I had to buy this one which is the veg nutrients is all you use pretty much they have a cow mag supplement also but when I tried to order it they were out so I'm going to need to get some ordered because I'd like to run just the lotus line I don't you know without any other additives there's going to be um my plan because I think it's a uh, pretty affordable when it's all said and done and that's what we're going for so yeah we're gonna give you guys a quick look we've got a few leaves we may pull out of here you know I don't go real crazy 
right now. You know, we're only on day eight of flower. So, you know, I just pull a, one, a few here and there. Nothing real crazy, because the plants need these leaves right now to grow. And see, we are, this plant over here is definitely right up there. This one's probably four or five inches, at least four inches behind. For some reason, not real sure why, but yeah, is what it is. It's a little bit wetter too. This one's a little drier, probably because of the plant mass. A little bit of extra plant mass on here. But anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick update of the uh, two x four tent. With the Roswell from North Genetics. Go ahead and hit them up on their website. And don't forget to use code MEAN420 for a 20% discount. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay medicated. Peace.